Colquitt, Georgia, population just over 1,900. Yet it's famous for being home to the country's largest mural. Yeah, Kenny, at just over 27,000 square feet, the painted farmer is the masterpiece of Canadian artist Charlie Johnston. After months of searching and with the help of modern technology, the monitor caught up with Johnston at an art show in Canada. Here now, in his own words, Charlie Johnston on what it took to make this incredible creation come to life. At the very beginning, it speaks to it speaks to the function of the of the structure itself. It's an operating peanut silo. So, uh, so right away, it speaks directly to what that building's the reason for that building's existence. And it also it speaks to the you know the community itself. And um, I mean, there was always going to be a farming theme for the mural. So uh, it just seemed to be the most natural. And I wanted to get that. I really wanted you to be taken away by the, the I, I believe in the beauty of the grand gesture, it, it, especially when it comes to monumental works and public art. I love the, I love the grand gesture. So in this case, I wanted you to, feel, as the viewer, I wanted you to feel like you were like an ant looking up. And the grand gesture was the, the hands of the farmer swooping down and pulling up his plants to examine his crop. So you really got a really uh, intimate, intimate look at the, at the, that, the, uh, the experience it's to the date it's still the it's still the uh, the largest piece of work I've ever done one of the most uh, uh, intense experiences uh, it's right up there it's right up there is it may very well be number one I washed the silos had me clean in like nearly a hundred years or 80 years or whatever it was so I cleaned the silos, I cleaned all the mold off of them, and in fact I was getting lots of offers for work to go all around the district and clean other people's silos. <laughs> Could have been my new career. So cleaning the silos and priming, this patching, patching the old silos, which by the way were handmade. Um, so uh, 80 feet in the air you see, you see somebody's handprint in the cement, or they were doing some patching when it was made. So all that work, and it was a lot of work, that took me a month alone just to wash, patch, and prime the structure. And then uh, um, what I had done was I had built a, a small model of the silos because it's, it's really like it's a sculpture as well as a painting, really, because it's, a, it's those four, four cylinders, it's a round, it's an interesting shape. So I painted the design on a little model that I made of the building to really understand how my idea was going to fit on the structure and then I translated everything I did on the little model I basically did amped up on the building itself and then when I got into the detailing of it um, then it's a whole new ball game I really had to really look get right inside a peanut plant I went out on I went out in the fields and I I literally pulled up peanut pl peanut plants myself to get a sense of the experience and and I had peanut plants on my boom truck bucket that I was using as references. I, I was basically doing peanut portraits. I had a whole collection of peanuts that I used as re references for the, for the actual peanuts in the silo. And there was a lot of that kind of stuff going on in the translation of the idea to the mural. There's always, there's always a, a piece of me in Colquitt because of the mural. There's always, there's always gonna be a piece of me in, in Colquitt. And there's always, and right now there's a, there's a piece of Colquitt in Canada. <laughs> this is one of. The, if you look, if you look at the mural, you'll see this uh, this exact configuration of peanuts somewhere in the mural. This is just a little study I did on. Uh, it's actually on wood. <laughs> 